All right, so, of course, in typical Mr. Fartboy fashion, uh, I ran out of time in my last video. Right when I was about to get to the coolest thing, too. Um, so, as I started saying, uh, I got some cash from graduation, you know? So, there was uh, something I really wanted, but the price was, you know, just a little... A little too high for me, you know, especially on record store day when it first became available. It's a record store day exclusive thing, and um, it was just too much. And I just kind of was resigned to the fact that I'd probably never own it, especially seeing as most other copies I've saw, either online or in other stores, sold for like 200 bucks or close to it. Um, the original MSRP on this item for record store day was 120 bucks, 125 bucks. Um, so, I knew the store I go to a lot, not probably wouldn't call my main store, but a store I go to quite a bit, um, had a copy of it since record store day, and I knew, you know, it was sitting there, they only had one, and uh, each time I went into the shop, I figured it would be gone, but it was always still there, and I've always look at it, and kind of, you know, so whatever. So I had some cash, so I went to the store. And I wasn't actually even planning on buying this. I just figured I'd, I'd buy a bunch of records. And um, so when I was in there, a good friend of mine who I've known since high school uh, works there like one day a week. So he was in there, which I wasn't even sure he'd be there. He work, He kind of sporadically works. So it turns out he was working. And I go in and I'm talking to him. And um, it's just me and him in the store. And then... Uh, a young kid comes in wanting to sell a collection. Um, so he comes in basically with a stack of records, quite a few. He was a young kid, probably like, I would say like 16, 17. And um, I looked at the stack real quick that he, he put down, and I'm like, wow, there's a lot of cool things in there. Um, but my friend, I have to say, pulled it off masterfully. He's buying a collection for the store. He needs to keep the price that he's going to pay out as low as possible. So he's picking up the records, and he's like, yeah, it all depends on condition. These are kind of beat up, this and that. And I'm just looking at the titles, and I'm just like, oh, my God. Like, there's some cool stuff in there. So my friend, the kid was just like, didn't say anything, you know. So he goes through them all, and he's like, okay, I'll give you 35 bucks. And the kid was like, all right, took the 35 bucks and left. And he's like, I got more. I'll come back with more. He's like, yeah, come back. And I'm just looking at my buddy like, Jesus, you know. Because we both knew there were some cool things in there. A lot of jazz, a lot of um, the Replacements albums, those were in there. Um, a lot of R.E.M., uh, there was a Hawkwind album. There was a lot of cool stuff in there. And um, that he bought it all for 35 bucks. He's just like, that's the way to do it, huh? So, out me being in the right place at the right time, picked out the two Replacements records and the John Coltrane record. And... Um, I, you know, I was just like, I'm, I'm taking these. I don't care how much you want to charge or whatever. He's like, all right, I'll give all three to you for 10 bucks. So I was like, sweet, I'll take it, you know. So, yeah, I definitely had more money to spend. So I'm looking around. And, of course, I see this thing there. And I'm like, all right, how about if I buy this? And um, 125 bucks. And you throw the rest in for free. He was like, all right, you know. So that's how I got those records for free. And the item is this. Which I'm so thrilled about. It's still, I just slid it open real quick. Um, haven't listened to anything on it yet. Just really opened it. Uh, the Flaming Lips Hetty Nugs box set, and I paid 125 bucks for it. So that's really awesome. I'm so glad to get this. Um, I just really, really wanted it. I like this band a lot, and um, it's cool to get it. I don't have a whole lot of box sets like this, so. It's, it's, it's a neat find for me. I'm so glad to get it. This is number um, 1059. If you can see that. So, really, really cool. So, I'm going to take these out. Uh, as I said, it's their first, for those who don't know, it's their uh, five records on Warner Brothers, on their catalog from Warner Brothers. So, I'll pull these out and I'll show each one. 
I haven't gone through them all at all. I haven't done much with it. Uh, I planned on actually opened it up on a video that I had to delete because uh, I ran out of time. And so, you know, this is the closest thing, I guess, to me opening it on there. All right, so first up, the Flaming Lips, Hit to Death in the Future Head. I look forward to this a lot. Uh, I'm not familiar with this record. I'm only familiar with one of these albums. So, this is a really cool thing. As a insert. Or is it? Yeah, oh, the original sleeves are in there. That's cool. I guess I won't pull out each sleeve, but... Still, really cool. I'm so excited to get this. And I can't wait to really sit down and start listening to them all. The Flaming Lips, Yoshimi Battles the Pink Robots. Very, very cool. The Soft Bulletin. This I hear is like probably the best Flaming Lips record. I'm not familiar with it at all. Real excited about this. It's awesome. Um, the Flaming Lips, The Clouds Taste Metallic. Very, very cool. And this one, the only one I'm familiar with, I had the CD. I don't even know if I still have it anymore. But, uh, yeah. The Flaming Lips Transmissions from Satellite Heart. Featuring the absolute sounds of the Flaming Lips. Great band, and I'm so glad to, to get more of their material and... Uh, really dig in. I'm so glad to get this box set. So, yeah, that was the thing that I was missing. And because I bought this, I got those replacements records for free. Which is cool. Don't tell anybody because I don't want anybody to get in trouble. But, um, so yeah, this is, I guess, a continuation of my last video. Um, so, thanks for watching, guys. As always, take care. And please leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. Um, I'm going to go listen to some records here because I got quite a bit. And, uh, yeah, take care. Again, the Flaming Lips, Hetty Nugs, awesome. Take care, guys.